Hey there, friend. My name is Kyle. I go by Real Revelations everywhere. My goal with this channel is to help you realize how many options you have when it comes to developing and maintaining a healthy and efficient mindset when it comes to as many different situations as you could possibly find yourself in. It is a very powerful tool, the most effective thing that you could do for yourself to really break down how you go about learning all of the things that are important to you and understanding fundamentally what works well for you and what doesn't and building and rebuilding a very strong and powerful foundation that you can build on moving forward cultivating a few different techniques that will go really far for you is going to serve you for the rest of your life and it could make all the difference in a team environment or a professional environment or even being a healthier and more productive part of your family. All of this stuff applies at every level. The family is the ultimate team and friends make the ultimate family. And being a good teammate in as many ways as possible is only going to serve you well. And you realize when you really think about what has worked well for you in the past and getting rid of all of the bad habits that you may have picked up along the way is what is going to make the biggest difference for you moving forward is all those little working along the margins, all those little details that you may not pay attention to anymore that have become deeply ingrained habits that do not serve you well need to be identified and you need to work on reducing the mistakes as much as possible and capitalizing on the things that you are good at in every situation that you can that's how you become an effective person in every way is not beating yourself and really in a competitive environment allowing your opponent to make mistakes and capitalizing on that and I want to relate a lot of this in as many different ways as I can to all different situations whether professional or sports video games like I said your family you can do more for yourself than you probably think and when you handle everything that you need to handle for yourself that's when you can genuinely help other people and when you have powerful techniques at your disposal you can help people understand complicated things in simple ways you can show people the difference and when you prove it to someone, that's when you are able to change their minds. Just talking a bunch about all these things that you may or may not have done well or not in the past won't mean very much to anyone if you can't go out and perform and show people the difference. And you can't do that unless you are operating as efficiently and effectively as possible when you're really trying to get something difficult done. And when you are, chances are you're going to need a team to really manage difficult situations. And if you want to be a part of a good team, you yourself have to be a quality teammate. And you can't do that 
if you are making mistakes constantly and not identifying and learning from them. You're being a bad teammate one way or the other. And I want to help you realize that in as many ways as you can, judgment-free, because we all do it. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody poops. There is no secret there. I don't think I'm the first person to tell you that. But really taking that to heart and also being there for other people when they make mistakes and helping them identify that stuff in a constructive way and then learning together is going to be the fundamental thing that you need to grab a hold of and bring that with you as part of who you are to every team in every situation and i that is something that i have worked extremely hard on my entire life i have constantly constantly every single day have come up with as many different techniques as I can to help myself learn, help other people learn from the mistakes that I've made and learn from other people's mistakes and apply that to a team setting and just trying to be the best friend and family member that I can possibly be. And you don't have to be great personal friends with everyone that you're around to be a good teammate to everyone around you, whether they think that they're on your team or not. At the end of the day, that doesn't even, that doesn't matter. You don't, it's up to you, exclusively you to determine how you go about all of the small things that add up to how you do everything every day. It's every little detail that adds up to habits and patterns that you live by and you have to identify what is going to work for you in the long run and what has only held you back and shedding all of that stuff and building on what makes you an effective teammate is up to you to realize I want to help you critically think about what really does work for you and what doesn't and picking up as many small things and big things to add to your arsenal because you need to be able to draw from every situation that you go through and learn from as many different places as you can and be able to critically think about everything that you've come across on your own terms and being able to really determine the value of the information that you come across regardless of the source. You have to be able to think for yourself. When I was deciding on whether or not to make this channel and how to go about it, one of the main concepts that I focused on is really teach a man to fish is not as simple as a lot of people really make it out to be necessarily it's not as simple as saying those short sentences i see so many people going about it in a way that's like <laughs> listing bullet points and trying to oversimplify really complicated things instead of deeply exploring what it really takes and a variety of situations to apply strong fundamentals across as many situations as possible. When I think of teach a man to fish, it's not I hand somebody a rod and I say put your hands here, okay, and then you put your hand here, you flip this up, if you want to let it fly, then you flip it back when it hits the water, then you reel it in. I could call that teaching a man to fish and try and sell a book that's 10 simple steps, but it is not. 
ever going to be that simple. When I think about teach a man a fish, where are we going? What kind of fish are we trying to catch? What kind of bait? Like how are, what, what reels are we using? What rods are we using? What line are we using? Are we sure that we're using the right stuff? Are we in the right spot on the water? Are we throwing it deep enough? Is it catching their eye the right way? Are we here at the right time? Are we really considering all of the variables to be able to simplify? When we've tested these waters deeply, then you can begin to think more simply. But if you haven't done the due diligence of really considering and really genuinely becoming as aware as pop as possible in each individual situation and like really growing in tough situations and acknowledging really considering your ability in each situation and how you're going about learning that's when you grow as a person you got to act you got to get your ass beat you got to go hungry for a few days sometimes you got to get mad at the water and really want to need to catch a fish before a lot of these lessons set in and it's it's a lifetime journey I want to help people not only catch fish. I want to help people understand how to eat it, how to make it taste good, how many different ways there are to go about that. Really consider everything that's possible to get the most out of each experience and really help people understand that Success is not a series of things going your way, but a mindset of deep understanding that this, all of this is a marathon and not a sprint. That winning and losing is extremely relative and every loss becomes overall wins that turning a losing situation into a winning one is entirely up to you and really facing down a losing mentality and breaking it down and understanding from the get-go that you're really only losing if you're giving up and you're not trying your hardest. You're always winning if you determine that you are winning. And there's a lot of ways to go about that, but at the end of the day, that is as simple as it can be. You determine whether or not you are learning from each situation and becoming better for it. If you're just getting your ass beat over and over and you're just face down on the ground and you're just ready to just lay there and you're not willing to fight back and get back up and run and pedal and keep throwing the ball, keep shooting, keep going, that is the only time you're ever going to lose. It doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. It doesn't matter what other people think of the way that you got knocked down. If you get back up with a smile on your face and you're ready to go right back at it, you're winning. And if you know why you're smiling and you understand that there's a way to go about all of this where no one can take that from you, that is winning. It's not a series of W's in a record that proves that you are a winner. It is a mindset.
that you have to maintain and protect from other people because other people want to take that from you every day and it's to their advantage and they're going to try their best and a lot of people are really good at it and you cannot let them invade that space you have to protect your energy you have to take care of yourself before you can take care of anyone else you have to be a guiding force when it comes to being on a quality team to be a quality teammate whether you are the leader or not there are a lot of ways to help your team from every direction and it doesn't mean that you're telling everybody what to do all the time you're showing people that you're there for them and you're showing people that you are going to try your hardest in every situation to turn things around or maintain the winning formula that is up to you and each one of them to continuously build each other up and not let other people knock your teammates down. You got to stand up for the people that you care about, but you can't do any of that unless you are able to do it for yourself. And these are all lessons that I have been forced to understand. This isn't stuff that I just came up with and I reinvented the wheel one day and I say, hey guys, that old way of winning, that ain't it. This is how you do it. These are, this is, these are the fundamental truths of being a good person to everyone around you and to yourself. Like I already said, you have to do it for yourself before you can do it for anyone else. And it all starts from a real understanding of what it takes to break yourself down and be honest with yourself about what you're good and bad at. And that's where I want to start with is really helping shed the bad habits like taking things personally and assuming a bunch of stuff that you don't actually know getting rid of all that bad information that you are holding on to for no reason that doesn't serve you properly you have to <clears throat> Well, that's not good. <clears throat> At the end of the day, you have to approach learning from the perspective that you don't do everything well. I don't care who you are. There's always something to improve on. You don't do everything well. But you can do a lot of things less badly, I'll say for now. You're not, it's, you don't have time to learn how to do everything well. But you do have time right now to focus on what you are good at and what you're bad at and extending the advantages that you have developed and shoring up your weaknesses and not allowing them to affect you in as many ways as possible. And it's always to a degree that you can do these things. None of us are infallible. We all make mistakes. But when it really comes down to it, real progress is marginal improvements that add up over time. It's not getting a better rating over the course of a few weeks or months, those are all, that's waves. Those are things that you have to realize are very short-term gains. And if you are not changing the way that you fundamentally go about how you learn and being as efficient as possible and taking criticism well, and using it to your advantage in every way possible, it's only ever going to be shallow 
dips and it's never going to be concrete progress. Maybe it's just the way that I go about it. Maybe it's just the way that I laugh about things. Maybe it's just the way that I say it that allows it to resonate with as many people as possible, but I want to prove how much all of this feeds back into itself and really practice what I preach to be the example that I am trying to get you to believe that you can be just to be a role model for as many people as possible to prove that any bad situation can be thought of the right way and with a healthy winning mindset you can do whatever you want and if anybody is telling you that you can't well hopefully through a lot of this you're gonna realize who's really helping you and who isn't and being able to critically think about all of this stuff for yourself is going to serve you and everyone that you love moving forward for the rest of your life all of these things are things for you to practice and preach and pass on to everyone that you care about so that we can all be on the same team at the end of the day and that team will be as effective and happy and powerful in every way. And it's going to be a lot of complicated, difficult things and scenarios to think about. But I would like to think that I'm going to be able to provide a lot of examples that work for as many people as possible. And really break down complicated concepts in digestible ways that you can consider as you go through all of these things yourself. It's an everyday thing and it all adds up. And I honestly believe that this is the stuff that you need to focus on to become a better person. And if this wasn't it and it didn't work for me, then I would not be here trying to tell you one thing or the other. I am not selling you 10 simple tricks and if anyone is, I highly recommend that you really consider their motives. None of it. It's anything that is genuinely difficult like this is. Rebuilding your mentality from the ground up. It's never 10 simple steps. It's going to be... A lot of dismantling bad habits and not letting that stuff weigh you down not beating yourself when it comes to all of this stuff you do not need to help your opponents and you do not need to help life beat you down that's gonna happen no matter what that pound of flesh that you owe is going to be taken and you do not need to hurt yourself in any way you have a lot to do there's a lot to get done if you are going to accomplish your dreams and all of your goals no matter how big or small you do not need to be hurting yourself in any way it's gonna hurt badly enough <laughs> That's just how this goes. You don't need to hurt yourself. I want to help you understand that good plans aren't 1 plus 2 equals 3. That complicated situations require an understanding of many different variables. 
And when you put pressure on really simple formulas like that, that chances are they're going to break almost immediately. And that good planning is de more developing guidelines that will help you navigate complicated situations more than rigid structure that you have to adhere to in very specific ways. In a lot of ways, it's not just you go this way and I'll cover this side and then you go bang, bang, bang and you got your guy and I bang, bang and I got my guy and now our plan is just, we're, it's working so now we go to step three and then he's supposed to bang, bang, bang that guy and now, okay, we're on to step four because the moment anything happens, you've lost half, most of your steps. All of your steps are now incorrect. And if you don't know how to navigate situations as soon as something goes wrong, it's never going to go right. You're never actually going to be able to accomplish difficult things in high leverage situations. And if you want to get anything real done, it is going to require you to be flexible. You have to bend so that you don't break because every situation is going to try to break you. And it's going to require a lot of different types of flexibility on top of that. It's, it's not just one direction or the other that's going to serve you in every situation. At the end of the day, you need to take care of yourself. You gotta be safe, stay dangerous, and take it easy. Good luck with everything that you're trying to do. Always believe in yourself and never give up.